go to the family of this uh, young child who passed away. When I see patients, I routinely inquire if they have access to weapons, not if they personally own a weapon, but do they have access to weapons? And if they say yes, the next question I ask is if they secure their weapon in any way, trigger lock, gun safe, lock drawer, do they separate the ammunition and the gun to make it less likely if the gun is found by you know um, a minor um, or anyone else who doesn't need to have access to it? You know, it will decrease the likelihood that we'll have, you know, a really bad outcome. I get feedback from parents often, though, that, you know, their children either don't know where the guns are or if they do, they would not go near it because they've been taught about guns and that they've shown that they're responsible around weapons. And, you know, what we know about child development is that, you know, children, depending on the age, you know, have limited ability to understand the consequences of their choices. They can act impulsively and not show good reasoning or decision making. So even if you feel like you've taught your children about weapons and you believe that they would never go to it and access it um, if you weren't present or, you know, in an inappropriate manner, that doesn't mean that they will act out in that way. So if you do have access to weapons, please be sure that you have a plan to secure them from children.